Welcome back. So today we're going to be playing uh, some retro games. Um, I noticed that recently another streamer did play a number of Apple II games, but this one got glossed over. And I don't think anybody other than me knows about this game, because you'd have to have access to an Apple II and then to the actual five and a quarter inch floppy disks in order to even like have seen any promotional sort of material for this. You basically have to have the game, um, which briefly once I did. So without further ado, let's play some Jenny's Journeys. Instructions. Getting instructions. Oh, we got a loading screen, guys. Welcome to Lake City. All right, so on the left, does that say druggist? Huh. I think these days you'd probably say pharmacist instead of druggist, but okay. Um, and library on the right. Aunt Jenny lives in this neighborhood on the south side of town. While you are visiting Aunt Jenny, you may use her car to explore the neighborhood. Aunt Jenny has great confidence in your ability to find your way around. Aunt Jenny's car has a dashboard that shows how much fuel you have and how many blocks you have traveled. There are no gas stations in this section of town. Be careful. If you run out of gas, your journey is over. Aunt Jenny always asks you to run errands for her. Luckily, there is a map in the glove compartment. Press the M key now to see the map. I see all kinds of other options down there too, like forward, right, left, turn around, quit, information. Incidentally, I think we're going through information right now, but I don't know. Uh, park, look left, look right. Okay, well. I am curious what MapQuest looked like back in the 80s. Oh my goodness. There's a foot. It's Mudfoot Lake. Um, oh, thank goodness there are bridges to get you across um, these rivers. There's an airport. And then there's Central Park. Now, do I see that there are actually roads that you can use to go into Central Park? Also, how great would it be to have this map um, printed out in front of you at all times? Um, now, I see a railroad, but I don't see a railroad station. Um, I see all kinds of... Well, it's, it'd be a, not a bridge. What do you call an intersection? I guess you just call it an intersection, but whatever. Let's continue. I'm rambling. Aunt Jenny's car moves one block at a time as you travel. You need to make a new decision at each intersection. To drive the car around town, you need to press the F, R, and L, or T keys. You know, because WASD hadn't been invented yet. Or however that normally goes. Um, you get forward, right, left, and turn around. Um, incidentally, if you look at a keyboard, you'll see that L is on the right and R is on the left. And T for turning around is in the top row. But, you know, these are how games worked in the 80s. You're just glad to have games at all. Um, when you get to your destination, press the P key to park the car. Practice parking the car now by pressing P. That's right. Okay. At any intersection, you can look out the side windows by pressing left or right. You can look at information by pressing I. Practice getting information now by pressing the I key. Okay. <laughs> wow. Menus. Menus are great. Um, destination or starting intersection will be printed here. 
Um, this looks overwhelming, honestly. Oh wait, no, the top half of this information screen is a set of shortcut keys. So never mind that these keys are also listed every step of the journey, or many of them are, in terms of left, right, and turn around, and so forth. Um, but here, um, you can also receive help from Jenny, see addresses, um, turn to the main menu, but I think that was listed. Um, yeah, no, really, this information screen shows you the destination or starting intersection and shows you a couple more things about seeing addresses or pressing H for help. But all the rest of this information is listed <laughs> as you're driving. You are only permitted to turn around by pressing the T key on a dead end street or when you, ooh, when you encounter a detour. Are you kidding me? A, a game this old had a concept of detours? That impresses me. There are three levels of difficulty for you to choose from. Short errand, journey across town, or shopping trip. Okay, level one, you'll be given one location, which will not require you to cross Central Avenue. You can ask for help. You'll be given one location, and you will have to cross Central Avenue. You will be asked to travel to six locations and return to the place where you started. I remember this. It's been for freaking ever, but I remember this. And man, this is the traveling salesman problem. It's not easy, especially if you're forced to detour. Nah. I can't do P. Would you like to see instructions again? No. Okay. Uh, oh, it only lets you enter three characters anyway, and one of those can't be the P key. Interesting. I was going to say nope, but I just went with new instead. Oh, I see. Programs. Um, well, let's actually check out general information before we get to the gameplay. It's an exciting adventure, which in map reading, it's an adventure in map reading, that is. Um, it's present the challenge of traveling from place to place in a quaint little town called Lake City. To making around town easier. Uh, oh. Oh. Okay. Um, medium level is journey across town. Aunt Jenny will not be traveling with you. The location you'll have to find will be on the other side of town. You may encounter random hazards along the way. Alright. Um, you may want to quit. If so, press the escape key twice whenever it's asking you to type. Noted. Alright, let's do a short errand. Do, 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 do. Alright, so... I guess we don't get any sound effects. Hey, it's gonna load. Cool. Oh man. I'm now at the corner of East 4th Avenue and Teak Street. Your goal is to get to the museum East 1st Avenue South. Okay. Let's ask for help. You are traveling east on Teak Street. Oh, okay, cool. Um, I guess this is probably better than me trying to use the map. So yeah, basically if I end up going north twice and then uh, west three times, I make it to my uh, destination. All right, so yeah. Let's look left. Oh man, that's what left looks like. All right, let's turn left. 
Wow. We're making this thir turn at 30 miles an hour. All right. 400 East Plum. Floor it. Can I go faster? Bing, 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 bing. You guys can probably hear that um, sound effect as well. All right, so we've gone three blocks. Oh, right, it'll keep count of how many blocks you've gone in total because that's an odometer, not a number of times you've gone east and number of times you've gone this direction sort of thing. All right, once more and we'll be there. Now, this is the destination. Let's ask for help. You're traveling west on Pine. Okay. Yeah, Aunt Jenny can't tell us. Like, you're here. You probably should park. All right, let's look right. Um, yeah. What's to our right here? 100 East Pine. What's to our left? Okay. Let's go park the car. You have successfully arrived at the museum. Yeah. Sure. Let's do another errand. Why not? <laughs> do you want the same starting intersection and destination? Sure. How hard could that be? All right. Wait, I'm facing the opposite direction here, aren't I? Um, yeah, now if I look at my map, it did place me at the same intersection, but I'm facing the opposite direction, right? Okay. That's interesting. Um, apparently if you don't, um... Okay, and information. So only Jenny will put those markers on the map for you. The destination is 1301 East First Avenue South. Um, but yeah, seeing that the direction I turn would be right at this intersection, and we're at 400 East Teak, which is the intersection of uh, 1500 East Fourth. So we're at Teak and Fourth. And if we look at our map, Teak and Fourth is um, the bottom right corner, which would only be a right turn if you were facing south. So I need to turn around and go north two blocks and then west three blocks. So, oh, U-turns are illegal in Lake City. Okay. Uh, noted. Well, I guess we have only one way we can go. So let's go right. See, it did put me at the same origin. However, um, don't have much of a choice here. All right. Um, let's check our map. Oh, are you kidding me? I'm at a dead end. Or I will be shortly. I'll be forced to... Um, well, we'll see. I'll show you. The game put me in a situation where I was forced to drive into a dead end. Which I've never seen before, as far as I can remember. I want to go forward. Screw this. You cannot move forward. <sighs> hey, look, there's a house. All right, now we can turn around. You have to go all the way to the end in order to make it legal to turn around. 
And now we're going to go a couple more blocks. Um, honestly, I don't think... I, I think you could probably do the so-called illegal U-turn. And nobody would bat an eye if it's in such an area where you're driving toward a dead end. I think people would understand that you don't have to go all the way to the dead end to actually execute a uh, turn around. Even if you do like a three-point turn at one of the intersections or some variant thereof, I think people still understand. All right, so let's look left. We see it says uh, 1400 East 4th. So we're at 4th and Plum. Now if we consult our map, we'll see that 4th and Plum puts us um, uh, one block north of Teak Street at the bottom there. So I need to go north once and west three times. So let's continue. Hey, welcome. All right, and then let's do a left turn. And we're practically there. There being the museum. Oh, that was cool how <laughs> it's cool how the buildings like render slowly into view um, and how that technology over decades of progress is still used in modern games um, things really haven't changed much although now they have this concept of a render distance um, and things beyond that distance just don't exist Hey, we found the museum. Okay, we made it. We asked Aunt Jenny for help zero times. Fantastic. All right. Um, would you like to go on another short errand? Hmm, I'm debating. Is it possible for me to run out of fuel? No, let's say no. Let's try, um, let's try a more difficult journey, one that goes across the town. Now, the key to these is that you're always going across town, so um, you just have to find a way to um, not be barricaded by, say, a railroad track. Okay, you're now at the corridor of West 2nd and Pine. Your goal is to get to the auto parts shop and get your damn car repaired. Um, which is at East 2nd South, uh, 1452. All right, so let's check the map again. Um, so second is at the top part of the map. You'll see there's a lake. Oh, what makes this challenging, I guess, is that there's the lake on the north side of the map and there's the railroad on the south side of the map. So basically, uh, our destination's over here. Wait, no, 1400 south second. That's actually down here, isn't it? Um... And we're coming from here, um, so we're going to need to follow the track, go north, go east three times, and then south once. Um, so yeah, east, north, east, 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 south. Alternatively, we could cross the track and just go straight and left and we're there. So we'll see which way we're facing and what our options are. Um, yeah, a heading like a compass would be kind of nice. Um, so we're looking at 2nd Street. I can't tell my orientation from this. There's the newspaper to the left, 200 West Pine. From looking to the right, um, 
Yeah, it doesn't tell me any more information. It's 1300 west second. How am I supposed to know which way I'm facing? Uh, like what my heading is. Let's check information. Um, so 1452 east 2nd AF south. Okay. Well, I'm guessing since I'm not seeing the railroad tracks, and the railroad tracks are on the south side of the map, I must be facing north. Um, 1300 west 2nd. This is 1300 though, not 1400. So I'm actually, I should be looking at Central Park around here. I must be facing away from Central Park. I'm going to take a random guess and say I have to go um, that east is to the left of me. Because otherwise I probably would have noticed. Um, we'll see. Oops. Shoot. Let's go back. Uh, I hope that this is still capturing okay. Spacebar gets me back. So I want to go left to go east. Hopefully I guessed correctly. Two hundred West Oak. Okay, so we're crossing Oak Street. So we went from 1300 and second to, oh, we actually went north. That's the opposite of the way we wanted to go. So I was facing the correct direction. I made a turn that I didn't need to make, and now we're heading the wrong way. Um, so I just need to make a turn and another turn to effectively U-turn. So we'll pursue this to the end of the neighborhood. Observe that we've hit a dead end. Hey look, there's the cleaners. Um, Alright, so... Now that I've turned left to get back to where I was going, I need to turn right. Because I did turn around. Let's try that. Let's try right. Hey, welcome. We're playing the best computer game ever. That's going fine. Just playing some Jenny's Journeys. So now I went south. Um, so yeah. Oh, my cursor's not capturing. Wonderful. Um, but you see where it says airport. Um, so that right edge of the airport, um, I'm just north of that intersection, or north of that corner of the airport. Um, I'm facing south, so if I make a left turn, I'll be on Pine Street. I could take Pine Street, uh, however many blocks it takes me to get to second, and then I could turn right. So that's the plan. Just want to take, oh. Yeah, I want to turn left onto Pine. Man, those sound effects are too good. Alright, so we're just going to keep going until we get to... Well, this will be Central Street here, right? Yeah. And then we want to go to Second. Um, so these journeys are designed to make you uh, cross Central Avenue, um, which is kind of a big clue given that all the streets are numbered. So um, if you're forced to go across Central Avenue for every journey, uh, the only big thing is you have to avoid the railroad and avoid the lake. Okay. I don't see I don't see an intersection here. 
Yeah, no, this is exactly where I want to go. There is no intersection at my destination. So we want to park. And uh, auto parts shop is not at this intersection. Um, okay, where is it? It's at 1452 East 2nd Avenue South. 1452 East 2nd South. And am I not at 1452? It's 1452 across the railroad tracks from 1400. Or, uh, yeah, it might be. I am on 2nd Street. Oh, um, I keep meaning to stream some more of that game. Um, I wonder, are you asking, like, am I interested in, um, coding more for it right now, or... Oh, did I make it? Nice. Um, or are you asking, like, is there something fun to play? Oh, I see. Um... Well, hmm. I guess one thing I'd like to do is, um, if we're taking it off of there, I'd just like to set it up on my own server. Yeah, no, I completely understand. And even uh, Lee Chess is still working on their own ability to do chat and stuff. I kind of expected that uh, Relay Chess is a large, large, large project. Um, and, um, I don't know, I, I'd still like to retain a copy of it on my server, um, but, yeah, I, unfortunately, there just haven't been too many people playing the game. Um, I don't know, it's, I guess, up to you, but as long as I can retain the source code and still, if I ever find time to continue with it, I can pick it back up and if we ever needed to we could register a name for it it's not a big deal um, um, yeah I'll see if I can set that up on just my dev server and then we can figure out if we still want to have it officially at that address too or not uh, I meant fifth and elm east fig street fifth and elm well i guess that's there's no east fifth so i'm on the left side of the map and my goal is to get somewhere in fig street crossing central avenue Oh, cool. That's cool you you did make a backup. Um, uh, yeah, in fact, I think I've got the code backed up on uh, GitHub. Um, one thing I'll have to think about is... Um, Oh, that's interesting. Um, yeah, I hear what you're saying. Um, uh, this is where I'm kind of confused. Um, I don't mind setting it up because I did um some of the setup and I think I understand how to set it up on a server I wouldn't mind um taking charge of moving it it's just also are people going to use it or not um but yeah I guess um I could always set it up from a clean instance with no data and all that I just don't know how to set up an instance based on all the data that we currently have.
Um, Plus, I don't know, Zug was even considering taking his own server um, offline, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, I'll have to experiment with setting it up on my server. Um, and if I can at least get the site um, installed, then, yeah, then we won't need to keep it on the official domain anymore. Um, Oh no! <laughs> Mr. Butterfield's produce trucks overturn, spilling tomatoes all over the road. We're gonna go forward, guys. No, we're going forward. Fine. It's telling us we can't go forward. Let's look left and right. Oh, come on. That doesn't look like spilled tomatoes. I don't see any tomatoes spilled anywhere. Okay, we're forced to turn around. Lo and behold, there's another detour to the right. Man. There's so many tomatoes, I want to just, like, I don't know, have pizza. All right, let's keep going. Really? Wow. Did you see that? Um so, I went the only direction the game lets you go when you're at an intersection and the only exit is to the left because you can't turn around at an intersection. You can only turn around at a dead end. So I went the only direction, need a detour, was forced to turn around, went the only direction I could go the other way, and now I have to detour back the way I originally came. I think I'm stuck. We'll see if they've moved all those tomatoes out of the way. Or if I just have to like stop at the diner and say, you know... Oh man, I actually feel bad for the people at the diner because nobody can get there. Oh. Um, I'm still trying to figure out the affiliate thing. Um, there is an offer of some sort. I just don't understand all the details and would rather not get involved until um, they're willing to explain the rules to me. All right, so I should be able to go straight and then over the bridge. Or just keep going straight. Just keep going straight, as far as we can. Evidently they moved all the tomatoes out of the way. Which is quite fortunate for us. Alright, so we crossed a bridge. We're still going forward. At some point, we're going to see a river in front of us. Man, that's a nice looking dock. The trees look pretty respectable too. Although, I don't know, a couple of these on the right here, they kind of look like ovals or something. 
Yeah, no, I, I know that's the vague generalities of the subject, but um, you don't sign on to something unless they actually explain the rules. Um, so, like, there's a whole fee schedule if you um, end up doing things that end up incurring fees, but there's nothing to explain how those work. It's not a real business. Um, but, you know, I'm sure that with time they'll figure out the best way to um, approach as many people as possible and explain things in terms that I can understand. Um, so, okay. We just crossed a bridge. I think that's... So what I'm confused about is I'm heading toward um, 292 East Fig Street. And if we look at our map, I just crossed the bridge. And... 292 East Fig Street should be somewhere around 3rd Street here. Um, I just can't tell, like, what the street numbers are. It's rather irresponsible of them to... Okay, 200. And if I look the other way, it's still going to say 200. So I still need to go one more. Also, why is there a street sign, but the addresses aren't labeled on the buildings? If anything, this is not an intersection, but the buildings themselves should be labeled. Oh, I'm in, in New York. Oh, that explains why we just crossed the river then. Yeah, this is a really cool game idea. All right, did I get to my destination? <gasps> we made it. All right. No, let's let's do this on hard mode now. So, we did a journey with um Jenny our aunt guiding us around. We did a journey across town. Let's go on a shopping trip. Let's really make things confusing. I forget if it gives you the list of destinations all at once or if it gives you to them gives them to you one at a time. We're going to see how it goes. Oh wait, this is actually New York City? I mean, I saw the allusion to Central Park, but I'm like, that's too obvious. Alright, so I'm at 5th and Elm. If anybody knew, knows New York, maybe they can help me get to all these destinations. Oh, are you kidding? You're not even going to give me the addresses. And, oh my god. As if the traveling salesman problem with detours wasn't hard enough, it's not even going to tell me what the addresses are of all these places. So, uh, Isaac, it sounds like you know New York pretty well. Would you care to guide us around? <laughs> Turn left at the second tree after the fish market on Dunkel. Yeah, I know you're making it up. That's why I put you on the spot. Yeah, okay. Um, so yeah, our goal is to get to the candle shop, the diner, fish market, hotel, post office, and school. And make this trip in as few moves as possible. Now, I'm sure there's also detours going on too, so... Ah, I've already forgotten where I'm supposed to go. Information. Okay, we're at 5th and Elm. Oh, A is to see addresses. Okay, so... 301 West Elm. Oh, that's West Elm, though. But yeah, no, we're at 5th and Elm, and 5th is on the leftmost column of the board. Um, 
So we've got fig, fig, plum, oak, and fifth. Fifth south. So from last round, um, fifth and elm we learned was on the north side of the map. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I see some of these say west and some of these say east. But pursuing these all like west first and then east first might not be the best. I guess we'll take it one at a time. But I think um, Fifth and Elm is probably closest to the school at 301 West Elm. <clears throat> Pardon me. So, okay, we're facing, we're on Elm facing Fifth. Meaning, if we go to our map, um, our only option is to go north to the uh, northwest corner of the map. Um, that's kind of inconvenient, given that we want to make as few moves as possible. But we don't have an option to turn around. Um, yeah, honestly, Apple Maps might do better guiding us than this might, but we'll take it. Um, Wait. Okay, no, third and elm is right above the bridge. There's nothing on ash, right? Because the only roads we can get to up here are fifth, fourth, second, and third, and uh, elm and ash. And none of our destinations involve any of that. Well, one does. The one that does is um, the one that's at school at 301 West Elm. Um, I suppose that's probably near 300. I should probably not try to overshoot that. Wait, if the school is at 301 West Elm, does that mean that it's west of um, 300 Elm? Or is it at the 300 intersection? Um, the diner is at 901 West, wait. No, fifth, West 5th Ave South. West 5th Ave South, really? Um, I mean, here's West 5th Ave. We would like a look left. There's no diner here. Look right, there's no diner here. Um, so let's go right. Oh, yeah, no, I think that's part of the um, experience. <laughs> as awful a gameplay mechanic as it is, forcing you to look everywhere. Hey, look, there's the diner. We found it. You have successfully arrived at the diner. You have five more destinations to reach. Well, we have only one way we can go, and that's right. All right, so clock shop. I, th I remember our next destination is, um, we're facing south now. Our next destination is either at this next intersection or it's at the intersection west of this. Um, we're looking for a school. That doesn't look like a school. So I'm gonna go out on a limb and say the 300 West Elm or 301 West Elm is probably near 300. Um, so we're gonna go left, which is east, to go to 300 West. Hopefully there's a school here. Hopefully if we turn right we approach the bridge and can get to the rest of the destinations on the west side of the map. Um, school should be around here, right? Nah, close enough. Factory, school, same difference. Ah, there we go. Why is it bleeding magenta and green? Well, because I... <laughs> I 
I don't have um, an Apple II monitor. This is an emulator. It's very possible the original game might have looked like this. I don't remember. But without the beauty that is um, the Apple II, I, I think it even supported color, which is crazy. Maybe it didn't. Maybe I'm imagining that. Um, so let's check our map. Yeah, we're at third. So if I just turn right, uh, I can go across the bridge and start to approach that weird destination that's on fifth. Wait, unless I've already reached that. Was that the diner? Um, yeah, where do we still have to go? We still have to go to... Okay, we already approached the diner and the school. Uh, 291 East Fig, 167 West Fig. Oh, did we miss the candle shop? Um, no, because the top two roads are Ash and Elm. Fig is below that. Um, yeah. All the rest of these say east, except, well, the candle shop ends, but we already hit the school. So let's see the candle shop at 167 west. 167 west would be... Uh, 160, okay, so that would be definitely across the bridge, but also uh, east of where we are. I still think a compass would be a nice feature. Anyway. <laughs> Fish <laughs> Oh, that's too good. Fish market is only open during mornings. The fish spoils if you wait too long. I don't know if Isaac's ever been to a fish market, but he might have something of a point there. If you wait too long, the fish is no good. On the other hand, if you pick up the fish too early, then what are you going to do? Is it just going to sit in your car all day as you're driving? Do you really like the smell of fish that much? Um, all right, so we just went south, and I think we went across a bridge. I wasn't paying much attention, but hopefully we're going the right way. Yeah, actually, I need to get back to playing that game, too. Yeah. So here's the candle shop. We made it, guys. You have successfully burned down the candle shop. You have three more destinations to reach. All right, next destination. Um, oh. Oh, this is just a list of all the addresses. That's crazy. Or is it if you type I and then A, It'll give you the list of just the ones you care about. I guess I don't have to type A if I'm going here. I just have to hit spacebar and this comes up next. Um, so we're on Elm Street. Um, hmm, I thought there was another thing on Elm Street. My mistake. So now there's the post office. Uh, the hotel and the fish market. Uh, 100, 291, and 301. Just to give you an idea of how far east of Central to go. Um, it's 100 Oak, 291 Fig, and 301 Plum. Um, 100 Oak. It's probably something... No, it's on the... This is central to the map. That's fine. Okay, Plum is way down there. Uh, <laughs> there's no efficient way to hit all these destinations because one of them requires crossing the bridge and the others um, certainly do not. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> Just saying. Um, 
And since you can't U-turn in this game, I think the best approach is probably just going to be... Um, wait, now is my destination on Elm or is it on Fig? If I remember right, we already hit our destinations that were on Fig. Or on Elm. Sorry. Um, yeah, so post office is in 291 East Fig. So that's our next destination. Then we're going to have to go all the way around the lower right corner of the map to get back to um, uh, Plum and Oak. Or we could take the journey the other way. It's really pretty much the same destination. Yeah, you better lock your doors. Yeah, be careful with this sort of thing. Am I right though? Like one of the places we're going is just east of Central Park. One of them is plumb down there. Um, so what I'm evaluating is, do I go to the east side of Central Park here? Like 1200 Oak. Do I turn into the park, turn back around, go up to Fig Street, and then down to Plum? Or do I just take Fig Street, do my Plum destination, and then go back up? Which is shorter? Um, so I think it was like 291 ochres. Oh, that would be before the river, right? So, what was my plum destination? Please let it not be 200 some, or, my plum doesn't have a 290. Mm. I have the greatest chance of reaching all my destinations and not missing anything if I just go east here. Wait, I'm on second. Why am I in second? No, I'm not on second. I'm on Elm. Uh, by Elm, I mean Fig, of course. Um, yeah, we just want to keep going. So there's West second, then there's West first. And then there's central. And then, hey, look, a computer shop. Well, we missed the computer shop, guys. Uh, there's east first. Um, but our destination on Fig wasn't east first. It was or. It wasn't 100 something, it was like 200 something. Um, 100 East Oak, 291 West Fig. Hard East Oak. So I'm just debating do I want to go to the fish market or the post office first? Like Isaac was saying, the fish might spoil if I go to the fish market too early. Or they might close if I um, get there too late. Really, it's... Um, I'll just have to have them salt the fish. It'll all be okay. Um, let's see. But yeah, if, imagine if there were hours that these locations were open. Also, imagine that you have to actually solve the traveling salesman problem. That's something I've had to do for actual work. <laughs> um, so, yeah, let's just keep going. 1100 East first. Cross the river. So put us at like 200 something. Um, now, I don't think our destination's here. Pretty sure it's at the next intersection. Yeah, so we're gonna keep going. All right, and we're just gonna randomly park here and hope that we found it. We found the post office, all right. Yeah, indeed, we're going on a shopping spree, which some reason we're visiting the post office to shop. Beats me. But we're at now at Fig and 3rd, and we're going to need to get to Plum and whatever it is down there. Uh, thankfully, we could do a right turn here. 
uh, narrowly avoiding getting hit by the compass. Um, so we're going to turn right. No, we're going to use our turn signal. Um, some meta tech there. Oh man, we missed the restaurant. All right, I want to go forward into the lake or river. No, forward the river. Okay, fine. Um, I'm gonna make a left. All right, so. Um, we're still not at Plum. Like, Plum is south of here. We're on Oak. Um, so let's go right. Now we're heading south. We haven't used up half of our fuel yet, but um, thankfully we're probably going to make it to our destination without um, running out of fuel. Interesting to note, um, there is no gas station as far as I can tell. Um, so I'm not sure how people live in this town. Gas station would be kind of a nice thing to add to this, although I'm sure it would make the game just that much more complicated. 400 East Pine. Now, we were going to something something Plum. And I know Plum and Pine aren't the same, but I just want to make sure. 301 East Plum. Alright, so... Um, so let's go south once more to Plum Street and then go east over a block. Because this is not 301 because it's at 4th Street. Um, also, they don't seem to have very many addresses which are halfway between intersections. Like, you're not supposed to like drive down a street and then find a parking lot on the left which would complicate things seriously. All right, we've arrived at the hotel. Goodness knows what we were shopping for here. Perhaps it's better left unsaid. We've got more, one more thing to reach. All right, so now we've got to make our way back to Central Park, basically. Oh, I hate it when I... Oh, my things die of dysentery. Oh wait, did I just go into a dead end? Oh man, I was thinking, you know, it's not always safe to just... Yeah, see that dead end in the lower left, right of... Or lower right, um, just north of the train tracks. Um, I was going left and I dead ended. I was thinking, you know, I should probably check the map, but I don't want to bother doing that because we've been checking it so many times. But, uh, yeah, that happened. So let's go north. You know, you'd think you'd be able to see, like, just one block's distance and um, understand that there's a dead end there. All right, so we're going north. We want to go. Um, want to go west, which would be left of north. And so we should approach Second uh, Street and then First Street. Um, but also, we're interested not in this street, but. Uh, just to be safe, our destination is, um, in fact, it shows us our starting at intersection. Goodness knows why, but we want to go to 100 East Oak. Okay, so there's not, that's not like 150 East Oak, that's 100 East Oak. Um, it's pretty clear that's going to be on 1st Street, not somewhere between 1st and 2nd. So we're just going to keep going. All right, wait, why is this, why is there no right turn here? 
I'm going west. How is there not a right turn here? Oh. We're taking the scenic route, guys. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah. I just assumed that the roads would connect. Like, if you look at Central Park, out of the eight intersections surrounding Central Park, um, seven of them are connected. I just assumed I could make a right turn here and go through the one place where there's not a connection. Well, I think I have to go into Central Park and turn around. That seems like the fun way to go, anyhow. Unbelievable. I'm sure, um... Well, okay. Maybe if you're on the East Coast, that sort of thing would make sense. Anywhere else, people would just laugh at you if your city laid out its streets in a way that you couldn't get around like that. In particular, the fire station can't get to where I'm going because that stupid intersection doesn't connect. Oh, man. I mean, yeah, emergency services would have a field day with this. You would... Whoever designed this city... Um, I don't know. Probably, like, plays too much SimCity and sends aliens after everything. Okay, I want to park here and just walk the rest of the way, if that's okay. Actually, I want to turn right and go straight through here. Uh, well, I guess I have to turn around. I'm surprised it let me get that close. Alright, so there's the fire station. Watch what the fire station has to do to get to this place that's really close by, but basically inaccessible. Okay, so say I'm a fire truck. I hear that there's a fire at this place that's just like two blocks away. I have to go straight. And I can't turn left here. So I have to go straight again. Now here I can turn. And I will. Um, but there's some danger in that I'm turning where there's all these roads intersecting and there's buildings nearby. So there's, And there's a bank there. So I've got the fire engine just screaming past the bank, and we've got to turn again if we want to get where we're going, right? It was 100 East Oak, if I remember right. Let's try parking. Nope. Um, so then we have to go this way. Um... I don't think this is it, but let's check. Okay. So yeah, if there were actually a fire at the fish market, there's a good chance that the fire engine would run somebody over at the bank on its way to the fish market. Just saying. If they were just to connect those two intersections, nobody would have to get hit by a fire engine. Or a fire truck. I guess thankfully, though, it's a fish market. I mean, if they don't have water to put out their own fire, um, I don't know. Insert your own joke here. Oh, you must now return and park at your starting intersection. I forgot about that little deal. So we've got to make it back to the northwest corner of the map, basically. Which is why it shows the starting intersection, despite the fact that I laughed at it showing this. Um, so we've got to find our way back to West and Fifth. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we're at the northeast corner of Central. No, we're not. We're one block south of that. So now we need to go north, then West 4, and then over the bridge, basically. Um, 1200 East first, and if I look right, I see that I'm at Oak, 
I need to go to fig. So forward is correct. Note forward is most certainly not correct. We need to um, uh, go north. North would be this way. I was going west, which is why I ended up in the park. Again, you think you'd be able to see, like, there's this huge freaking park right in front of me. It's just a block away. But no, Jenny has, like, <laughs> um, actually, it's Aunt Jenny. You're the main character. You don't have a name. But the main character has, like, serious eyesight problems and probably shouldn't be driving. Hmm, that's kind of a problem. <laughs> All right, so let's go. Keep going, go, go. That's central. That's first. That's second. Are we gonna run out of fuel before we make it? Am I just that bad at the game? Now if I remember right, the bridge is at third street, right? Yep, so I need to go forward once more. Well, it's not entirely my fault, also. If you remember right, there were like... I might be getting my journeys confused here, but there were two hazards at the start of my journey. No, that was last journey. Never mind. Alright, so we need to go over the bridge. That is one nice looking bridge and river. Um, so here's the school. Now we need to see if we can make it. We're just like a block or two from home, basically. Uh, so we'll see if the game's feeling merciful or not. Because uh, our destination it was on 5th, right? Um, so we're currently at um, Elm and 4th. I think we need to be at Elm and 5th. Um, let's confirm that before we go too far. Yeah, Elm and 5th. Surprise, we actually did reach our other destinations. So just go forward. And we're sitting on like no fuel. So Aunt Jenny's not going to be pleased with that, but we made it. Congratulations, you've completed your journey in 38 blocks. Without meeting any detours, the trip can be made in 28. Yeah, but if I remember, well, I think I'm confusing my two journeys. If not, um, the game really screwed me on this, but... Uh, yeah, let's do another shopping trip. Yeah, no, 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 no. Let's try something different. It's probably going to involve... Oh, there's the factory. Wait, I live at a factory? Are you kidding me? Okay, you're at Fifth and Oak. Your destinations are all these places. The airport, the fish market, the hat shop, museum... Newspaper building and police station. Well, you know, if we visit the first five and then run out of gas and cause a riot or something, then we'll be able to make it to the police station. But we still need to make it back home, which might be a little more challenging. So, airport, fish market, hat shop, museum, newspaper building, and police station. Alright, let's check our information. Well, we're at, what, 5th and... I've already forgotten. 5th and Oak. And that puts us... Let's check the map. 5th and Oak puts us back at the northwest? No. It puts us at the west corner of the map. I say west corner because, like, it's the most inaccessible point on the map, other than the point right below it. 
Um, so if I'm facing south, um, then that's unfortunate. Okay, so we'll see. Um, so street names are Ash, Elm, Fig, Oak, Pine, Plum, and Teak. Oh, that's actually fortunate. Those are in alphabetical order. Okay. I have to give the city planner a little bit more credit than I've been giving them. But still, that's no excuse for making it so hard for um, your fire station to access things, um, which destinations near Mudfoot. Um, like those things which are northeast of Central Park just basically are really difficult for a fire station to access, but fine. All right, so we're fifth and oak. Let's check our info. Oh, it actually tells you right here what your starting intersection is. All right, so the airport, 13. Oh, these don't actually all say like the tree name. Some of these will say uh, this much west or this much east and a number. Um, I want to say that the airport is nearby. I mean, that airport's that big freaking building. Um, that does make sense that the airport and the factory are located near each other. Um, the hat shop, 901. Oh, right, so these addresses, like, the top of the map is like 900, and the bottom's 14 or 1500. Um, yeah, it's too bad they couldn't, if they could just reduce this by one destination, they could fit your origin on the same screen. And it would be a lot easier to make sense of it all. At least in this configuration. Um, I'm also impressed that the game does solve the traveling salesman problem and tell you what the best route is. Like, that's not an easy problem for an Apple II program. Um, but anyway, either they had to generate the map and the problem based on constraints which make it really easy to calculate that distance or they had to simulate somehow and come up with the right distance either way it's pretty impressive i'm actually curious how they did it uh, and i'll never know unless like i can get the source code for the game and figure it out but that's kind of a pain um let's see yeah the airport 1300 west fourth ave south uh, I don't think anything else is nearby. The hat shop might be kind of near, but that sounds like it's on the north end. And it's, oh, wait. Wait a second. Um, I'm not sure why some of these say like West Pine and West Fig. Are there like two Pine Streets? There must be. Um, yeah, let's just head to the airport instead of plotting this all out. Now, how do I get to the airport from where I'm at? Again, I've forgotten where I'm at. I'm at 5th and, um, Oak. 5th and Oak. And I need to get to the airport, which is at like 1300 something something. Wait, if it's 1300 fifth, then I just go south to get there. If it's 1300 anything else that's harder to get to. Um, also, I'm looking west, right? Um, because if I'm looking west and I'm facing 5th Street, right, 5th is north and south, so I must be facing west. The only direction I can go here is left, so we need to go that way, whether I want to go that way or not. That's the conclusion. So 
Sorry, I don't know why that took me long, so long to figure out. I was trying to figure out, do I want to go which way? Um, yeah, that looks like an airport. Well, that's totally an airport, but we have to turn around. Um... I wonder if the game's going to give me slack for, um, or give me flack, rather, for the fact that I didn't. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable. So, all that time you spent, like, with the list of destinations and stuff, um, it's kind of negated by the fact that a detour happens. So you basically have to go back to the airport. No, screw this. I'm going to park and join the block party. Mm. Show me this block party. I want to see it. Man, this is one not-so-lively block party. All right, we're going to turn around. Now, if I can park here... How come I can't just, like, park and turn around? All right, we're going back, looking at the airplane again, because it's the only way we can go. Now watch. The block party's been canceled. <laughs> See? That block party just made me go an extra three blocks for no reason. Or two or whatever. But I'm up to seven blocks. These guys owe me gas money for all the interference they caused. All right. Um, but our destination wasn't 1200 fourth. It was the airport, which is like 1300, right? 1300 west fourth. So I need to go south. South of this way. And I'll be damned if the airport's having a block party and didn't invite me. Yeah, we got to the airport. I don't know what I was buying at the airport. Again, some things are perhaps better left unsaid, but... Alright, let's pick a next destination. Um... Well, okay. I guess I didn't have to hit that key. Well, we've dead ended anyway. Um, so let's check what's something that I can get to from here. Uh, we're on West 4th. Um, so West's 901 West 2nd, um, two o one Pine, one o two Fig. Yeah, actually, how close am I? Wait, Pine is south of where I'm at, isn't it? You know, there's Pine, Plum, and Teak and stuff. Um, let's turn around and see where we're at. We're looking at Oak. So yeah, Pine is south of the airport. I think we've lost the game already, which is incredible. But, yeah, to make it to, um, 
Well, no, Pine there. Um, so I'm just north and west of the airport. Um, I should be able to make it to somewhere on Pine pretty easily. Because I've already been to all the other Pine destinations, so if I just go around the airport and stay on Pine Street, I should eventually hit my target. Um, just like, what, 301, 201 something? Um, Okay, so we got the cleaners, 1200 West 3rd. Um, 1200 West 3rd intersects with 300 West Oak. But we need to go to somewhere on Pine Street. 201 West, oh. Oh no, 200 West Pine means I need to go south and then keep going west until I hit 2nd Street. That's the deal. So if we go south, we hit Pine, then we turn left, we're still on Pine, we hit 2nd Street, and that's our destination. Still, it's incredible that the game gave me that block party event and, like, no way to circumvent it. Alright, we arrived at the newspaper building. Um, so... Okay, do I have to visit anything on Plumber Teak? Or somewhere like fourteen or 1500 on 5th, 4th, or 3rd? Um... If I've got to visit something in that lower left quadrant, I'm screwed. Um, okay, so there's no plum or teak or anything down there. Thank goodness. Um, 901 West 2nd Avenue South. Please tell me I didn't just go past that at the previous intersection. That's the thing I've been trying to watch out for when planning my route here. Um, 901 West 2nd. No, that's way at the very north corner of the map. Because that's where 900 and such start. Um, Fig is at the north side of the map. Um... 1301 East South, or East First South. Okay, that's not too far away. Fish market, we all know where the fish market's at, so I think the museum's the next destination. Um, 1301 East South is um, just one block east of the fire station. We were there last time. Uh, what I've lost track of is my bearing. I think I'm just bearing east at this point. Because I just in intersected the airport at the upper right corner of the airport. And then just headed forward. So I guess I'm just going to keep going east until I hit my destination. Like here it says second, so we must be going east. And the next one will say first, and the next one will say central, and the next one will say first. Um, because there are two first streets, one central, and two seconds. Just to make things confusing. Um, so central is like zeroth street. Now if you actually go to a place where there are, or if you go to a city where there are streets, um, 
you will discover that there's a second street and then there's like central. Um, there is no concept of having two first streets and also having a central street. Such a thing would be just silly. All right, there's the museum. Now we got to go to the damn fish market. Um, so let's go left. Honestly, I don't know why Aunt Jenny wants us to get so many fish. Maybe to keep people from the block party away. Um, yeah, now where was the destination? It's still west of here, right? It's 100 East Oak. I am at 200 East Oak, so I need to go west. There's the fish market. Got two more destinations to reach. Uh, I think both of them are north of the uh, river. So uh, one of those is 102 West Fig, which given that it's 102 West means it's um, west of Central. Uh, so it's in the upper left quadrant. Um, because it's Fig, and Fig is like the northmost street. Uh, the hat shop is at 901 West 2nd. 900, I think, is also fairly northward. And maybe 900 and Fig are the same. Um, are 900 and Fig the same? No, Fig's 1100. So 2nd West... Um, wait, do I have to like basically visit Mudfoot Lake and I guess that's what I got to do. Either way, I have to go north because there's no path around the north side of Mudfoot. Mudfoot splits uh, the upper left and upper right quadrants. So my only path is in fact to go north. Um, and this time we're not going to visit the park. Uh, we're actually going to go around it instead of trying to go through it. We're making this turn at 30 miles an hour and maintaining a constant speed. Um, 100 East Fig. Um... Now we need to go to like something to 100 West Fig or 200 West Fig or something. But 100 East Fig, does that make sense? Yeah, so the bridge is just to the right of us. But our two destinations are in fact uh, Western located. Right? We got the hat shop at 901 West and the police station at 102 West Fig. But to get to both of those, um, well, we can't go north, we can't go east. We have to go west here, because east is a bridge, which is very far from where we're going. And north is a dead end, so we have to go to central here. Um, but I was thinking that the best way to hit both of these points and then get home would be um, to visit the hat shop first. Oh, but the hat shop is across the bridge. Isn't it? It's 900 second. Whereas the police station's right in front of us. Yeah, 900 second. I don't know why that says 900 West 2nd Avenue South. 
other than, oh, that last indicator, south must say it's like on the south side or the north side of an intersection. So I don't have to guess whether 901 is closer to um, uh, to Ash or to Elm. I can know that it's on Ash because it says south. If uh, On the contrary, if it's at 999 West 2nd Avenue North, I would know that it's on Elm Street. Uh, interesting. Okay. So yeah, I want to go to 102 West Fig then. So let's just keep going. And then we'll find our way across the bridge and we'll have to cross a bridge to get back. All right, so making another stop, buying things. You don't want to know what we're buying here. You really don't. Um, Okay, and then we need to cross the bridge somehow from 100 West. Um, oh, apparently I can just turn right here and then turn left and that would get me over a bridge. I forgot that there's this bridge. We're doing better than last time. So that damn block party just ruined my perfect score. But it's probably bound to happen anyway. Now the hat shop is at the north corner of the map. Uh, I can actually say north corner, but I should probably say like northwest. But I don't know, there's like the northwest corner, the northeast corner, and then this thing that's right next to uh, that lake mudfoot um, um, I think the reason that it looks like it's badly anti-aliased is probably because it was coded for monitors in a way that it was actually coded to be badly anti-aliased um, I don't think monitors at this time had so many colors to choose from. Um, so really any color was well appreciated. This probably looks that way because the Go uh, game is actually coded that way. I mean, who coats like the left side of their windows pink and the right side of them green? Um, okay, so I'm facing west. How do I make sure I don't hit another dead end like I hit last time? Oh, I just keep going. Wait, I'm facing west. I need to go turn left, cross the bridge, and then just follow the river, and that'll get me home. But that starts with a left turn here. And hopefully those damn people aren't arranging another block party to block me from going to a party. We'll say. All right, here we go. Um, cross the river. And then we're just going to follow the river. I also, you missed this at the beginning here, but I found it strange that they called it a druggist. These days, we would use the more neutral term pharmacy or the less neutral term meth lab. Um, but probably pharmacy. All right, there's a river. I like the sound effects. They really add a lot to the game. Uh, what was our destination again? It was like 500 something. Oh, yeah, they might not know pharmacy. That's a good point. 
West Fifth and Oak. Got it, got it, got it, got it. So we're facing south. We want to go right to go west. And this will take us back home, where home is apparently a factory. Yeah, we live here. Welcome home. Congratulations. You've completed your journey in 30 blocks. If those effers hadn't gotten in the way, this journey could have been made in 26 blocks. That's not bad. Uh, would I like to go on another shopping trip? Nah, I think I'm good. Let's go back. Um, let's just go run a short errand with Jenny. Hopefully this will give me less fuel. And then we could quickly get to a bad ending. Oh yeah, so it gives me half the fuel here. Nice. So let's just keep like cruising on by to the extent that we can. And see if Jenny disapproves of our driving. Does my fuel never expire? Oh, we hit an airport, guys. We're gonna go around the airport. Wait, does that tarmac just end in the road? That was weird. All right, we're going over the bridge. I am curious if the fuel depletes at the same rate um, for this level as it does for um, uh, the shopping trip. So it seemed like the fuel depleted pretty quickly for the shopping trip. Nine hundred West Fifth. Wait, that must be in the upper left corner of the map. A thousand West Fourth. Um, yeah, let's, let's get out of here, if we can. Oops. Well, that's not where we were going. Or maybe it is. Let's park. Oh, the bank is not at this intersection. Bummer. Well, we got to turn around then. There's the hat shop. I wonder how close we are to the bank. If we could actually salvage this, probably not. It's not looking very salvageable at the moment. All right, let's ask Jenny for help. 
You are traveling south on West 5th Avenue. On the map, the arrow will show your location and direction. The square will show your destination. All right, Jenny, don't let me down. Damn it, Jenny. It's all your fault. Um, okay, so we got the arrow at 5th and Elm. Our destination is the bank at uh, Second and Pine. We might have detoured a little bit, but was it worth the journey? Also, how do people get around this town without there being a gas station? So I'm going to see how long that last little bit of gas can last us. Oh. Oh, man. We've run out of gas. We're stranded in the middle of the woods. Uh, the river is rising. And the moon is approaching in the next 72 hours. Um, you like to go on another short errand? Sure, why not? Yeah, okay. Now, have we asked for help? Um, our goal is to get to the bank. Aunt Jenny, can you tell us how to help? Uh, how to help us to get to the bank? All right. Sounds like a trivial task, no? We just have to, like turn around and we're there. Um, problem is, uh, we can't turn around if we're at an intersection. So we actually have to go south, go back north, and then face the other way to go to the bank. All right, so we can do that. We just like turn left. One thing I haven't understood is how come you can't just park at one of these locations and then turn around from your parking space or something. I guess there's no parking lots. Oh, there's the railroad station. I was wondering how come there's no station, but there it is. All right, but that's not where we're going. Here's where we're going, and we're going right. And we reach the bank. and park. Ta-da! <laughs> yeah, let's go on another short journey. Same origin, same destination. I wonder, can I get to the bank in one move? Um, so I'm facing Pine Street, which means I must be on First Street. My goal is to get to Second Street. I'm on First Facing Pine. If I'm on first, and if I am facing pine, um, then I'm facing north. Because there's a dead end in front of me. Um, so yeah, all I have to do is just turn right. And then park the car. And that's the journey. That's Jenny's journey. We can even look to the right and see. Um, I meant look to the left. Of course I did. I'm holding up all these other cars while I'm still looking. But yeah, there's the destination right there. Don't know why we had to drive the car to get there. Aunt Jenny is pretty peculiar. We probably could have walked it. What would Captain Planet have done? Yeah, we reached the bank. You didn't even ask for help. You're being congratulated for not asking for assistance because that makes you a better person. Uh, okay. Uh, no, I think we're good with uh, those journeys. 
So, um, yeah, let's take one more look at general info. It's an exciting adventure in map reading. Um, so apparently this place that we were driving around is called Lake City. I had glossed over this point earlier, but apparently it's not New York City, it's just Lake City. Um, there's enough gas in the tank to get you wherever you need to go. You know, that's actually interesting that they've solved that problem. That they make sure that you have enough gas. Um, I could have sworn I've played this at some point and um, run out of fuel because of all the detours that came up. And I thought I plotted it all correctly. And it was horrifying to just like run out of fuel and there was nothing you could do. Um, I did manage to hit all the destinations but couldn't make it back home. Um, maybe I did take a wrong turn somewhere, I don't know. It was pretty sad. But yeah, I'm still curious. It'd be cool if there were a key here that you could strike to just look at the map. Um, like, I think the instructions show you, like, what the map looks like. But just having a single key access to it would be pretty cool. Um, oh, right, so you press M and here it takes you to the map. It's training you on pressing M, though. So, yeah. I should probably print screen this if I can. Okay, I think that captured it. So yeah, I can have this at my disposal if I need it later. Why would I need it? I don't know. I'm curious when this game was produced. Um, I want to say like late 80s, early 90s. It's when all the cool games were being produced. Um, yeah, I don't know. Again, I think some of this city planning could use work. Like, the fire station was just south of Central Park, which is great. It's an excellent location for reaching anywhere in Lake City conveniently. However, that one intersection just um, southeast of Central Park, um, that has a dead end there. And that seems like a flaw for any city. If any city has a Central Park, I mean, put in one-way streets, put in whatever, but don't put dead ends right in the center of your city. Especially if there's emergency services that travel around that direction. Like, suppose, uh, for a second, that that bridge between Oak Street and Pine Street on the very right side of the map went out. Or it was just, I don't know, traffic got backed up or something and nobody can get around on that side of the city. That means that an emergency vehicle um, needing to get to the northeast corner we'll need to detour um, either west of Central Park or pretty far east of Central Park um, just to be able to cross the bridge to get to the northeast corner of the map. I'm just saying like if I lived at 1200 4th Street um, or, I'm sorry, 1200 East 4th Street, just right north of that bridge there. I'd feel pretty nervous anytime that bridge got blocked up by people traveling that way. Um, I suppose the game teaches the lesson that you should, like, pay attention to your map. Uh, if anybody ever redid this game, one 
nice new invention that would be um i don't know useful is if you could see like one block's distance in the background obviously that wasn't feasible at the time that this game was developed but i think anybody driving can generally see like what's coming up in half a block to a block from where they're at depending on how large the blocks are um so if you can see this big river or this park or this airport or railroad that's a block away or slightly more than a block away, I think that would be a good thing. Or even if you can't see it, if you can like hear it, you can hear the running water, you can hear whatever goes on in the park, like the plants growing right next to the druggist. Um, if you can hear the airplanes taking off and you hear the trains running by, I think those would be useful things. Um, also, I don't know. I think this game could be interesting if there were a way to go west of the airport to get around it. Uh, if you don't have to go like north, then east, then south, then west to get to from up just above the airport to just below it you can add in a whole bunch more destinations in the lower left corner of the map and not leave people stranded um i think the main point of that railroad though uh running along the bottom is mostly to cause people anxiety that they think they might go the wrong way and uh, they might not even be able to cross the tracks if they're at the wrong place. And I think it's much more anxiety-inducing than it is practical because, I, as far as I know, I've never seen any destinations on Teak Street. I've never seen any destinations at 1500 anything. It's very possible that you might never need to cross the railroad, except in the case of my first journey, where I was stuck on Teak Street and facing um, the railroad bridge or whatever it is that crossing there. Railroad crossing, that's what it's called. I was on Teak Street facing west and I had no choice but to go west even though there was nothing there. And then I hit the railroad and had to detour and went back across the crossing. Um, but aside from that kind of nonsense, yeah, I don't think there's really any point to that down there. Um, not sure what else there is here. Um, practice parking by pressing P. Yeah, this game was big on practice this by touching a key. Like, you can practice getting information. Uh, Apple was really good about teaching people how to do things. And that's something they've stuck with over time. So kudos to them. So, yeah, that's Jenny's Journey in a nutshell. Um, you can actually find this game on the Internet Archive. So, um, it's probably to the point where it's fair use or public domain or whatever. I can't imagine that both the author, the original author, and Apple have um, sought to copyright this to the point where people can't use it, but it seems like this is a pretty good showcase of where Apple started with technology, and just as a matter of public interest, um, it seems like something that belongs in the public domain. Because honestly, people wouldn't be paying money for this sort of game these days. But it does um, serve a historical purpose. So, that's Jenny's Journeys. Let's see what other games. Yeah, let's insert another diskette.